What is going on guys, Big Man 27 here, welcome back to another video where today we got Matu Monday number 4, boom bada bing, um, so yeah, Matu Monday number 4, uh, we got some pretty good mods this week, uh, should be number 5, but I, I missed a week in between, whatever, so yeah, obviously last week was Halloween themed only, because it was Halloween last Monday, so I mean, that's pretty cool, but now, today, November 7th, we just got a regular, uh, no-themed episode. Uh, we got some pretty good mods. Alright, so let's just go and get right into the first one, which is gonna be Taco Bell. Now, this is actually a sequel to the KFC one I did, like, a couple weeks ago. I think it was in episode one, if I remember correctly. But this is basically just Taco Bell. Uh, one cool thing is that it adds in the NX Shadow Claws as a starter pistol, which is a good thing because you need something a bit more powerful for the first few starting rounds because you don't really have a good weapon. It's got buildable power, which is iffy, but I mean, it's super easy. It's just like the board and then you got like the switch or whatever. And they're all in the spawn room, so you basically have power right off the bat. And there's also a buildable shield. And one great thing is that it's got like the MP40 and stuff off the wall, so you got pretty good wall guns. However, they are pretty expensive. I believe there's no perk limit. I don't I haven't actually looked that up but I mean it would make perfect sense if there wasn't one because any good mod nowadays doesn't have a perk limit but yeah this is a pretty nice mod it's got a pack a punch area it's got a pretty expensive door to go down to this downstairs area just like the KFC map it's actually really hard in the beginning but once you get out of the starting room it's actually pretty easy and well the KFC one is harder for longer but yeah this map it actually has an outside area and parking lot that's what the majority of the map is the KFC KFC one didn't have like a, it was mainly the inside building and it was kind of big and unrealistic for a KFC at least the ones they have around where I live I mean I don't know about other places but for me like KFCs just don't get that big and there's like hardly any outside space but with this one most of the map is outside space uh the Taco Bell building is kind of a small but it's got a big outside space and parking lot so it's pretty good and also if you didn't know this is basically just like a remake of um the World of War maps that came out, there was Taco Bell, KFC, and then McDonald's. And McDonald's is actually being worked on right now. You can see it in a sign uh, it, off in the distance. Um, so oh, that's a good thing. So yeah, go check it out in the description. And on to the next one. Okay, so this next map is going to be the Treyarch Studios map. So basically, this is just like a map of the Treyarch Studios um, it's not very accurate, but it's just like a fan-made map of, like, Treyarch, basically. So it's actually pretty cool. Like, in one section, they got, like, hallways of just, like, posters of all the different Black Ops 3 maps. They got, like, this back area. They got, like, tons of wall buys, like the PPSH, FAMAS, XM53, because we all know that's the one gun you really want to buy in this game. The MX Garand. The M1927 aka the Tommy Gun, the Ragnarok DG4s. They also got like Little Arnies and Monkey Bombs and stuff in there. In fact, I don't actually recommend buying the Little Arnies because they actually take your current weapon away. So, I mean, it's not really worth it unless you have a gun that you're going to give away anyways. But, of course, they also have claymores and a bunch of that other stuff like that. As well as that, they got uh, unlimited perks, including all of the regular perks plus banana colada. Also, one thing to note is that you buy the shield off of a wall for like 500 points, I believe it is. So, you don't have to like find all the pieces and build it because that is kind of sucky. So, in the future, they plan to have like more Easter eggs, more wall weapons, more uh, perks and stuff like that. Basically, the usual stuff for a work in progress map such as this so yeah that's basically it for this one it's really cool i think treyarch tweeted it out and that's one of the main reasons why it's so popular so yeah let's just let's just go on with the next one i guess so yet another mod in this list is going to have to be the casual mode mod now this is a mod that you activate in like the menu screen or whatever where all it really does is just change the settings and such and so it basically just makes it more easy and more casual of a game instead of just like fighting or whatever uh, so yeah, here's a list of the things that it actually changes. So the mystery box has a better chance of giving you a better weapon, which is actually really nice. And if you're trying to get a good weapon, like on Revelations or something, you're going for the Apothecary Servant or Thunder Gun, because the mystery box has actually a better chance of giving those type of guns to you. So right out of the box, the guns actually become Pack-a-Punch, which I think is a little OP. I don't think that the mod needs this, and I actually wish that they had settings to be able to toggle these on and off, and this would be definitely one that I'd be toggling off. 
because it's just kind of OP, which I guess is kind of the point of this mod, but I mean, still, I don't really like the idea of that. Death barriers in Samantha's curse are permanently disabled, so that's basically where, like, if you hit a death barrier, or, like, outside of the map or whatever, you instantly die. And Samantha's curse is where did you just hear, like, the laugh, like, the, the teddy bear laugh, which is actually Samantha, and it takes all of your guns one by one and all your points and such and all you have left is this a starting pistol with regular ammo. So another thing that happens is that the zombies health is a lot lower in high rounds which is a good thing for the purpose of this map because of basically just making the zombies experience easier. There's slightly less zombies and they like spawn in a little bit slower too so they so won't have as many zombies in the high rounds either and they'll start coming into the map a little bit slower which is nice but it isn't very nice when you're bored and you're just waiting for the zombies to come in or when you're trying to speed run which then again why would you speed run with this mod on i mean just do it regular so in this mod you also actually take more hits before you die it just adds in like a couple hits or whatever before you die it's actually pretty nice and especially for just having a casual game of zombies you don't always have to be worrying about dying or like getting hit too early or whatever that sort of stuff so you actually get more points for killing zombies which i guess is pretty nice too also one more really great thing is that power-ups will actually spawn in more and just there'll just be more of them and also one thing that i actually wouldn't have thought of if i was making this map is that mule kick actually gives you four guns so mule kick isn't actually that bad of a perk with this mod on and of course last but not least it takes away the perk limit so that's actually really nice one great thing that it adds into this mod, especially because you can't have any other mods added on. For example, having a mod that takes off the perk limit. You don't need to, like, fuse mods or whatever. I don't know if that's even possible or how it would work in the first place. Alright, so I hope you enjoyed the fourth episode of Mod Tool Monday. Um, I kind of enjoyed making it, and it was pretty fun, I guess. I, I actually really like making these Mod Tool Mondays, even though Mod Tools are kind of dead, and it's kind of a Infinite Warfare Zombies is kind of the big thing in the Zombies community, except I don't have that yet, and I don't know when I'll be getting that, hopefully for Christmas. But anyway, so basically the only thing that's kind of keeping my channel alive right now and giving me ideas to post is basically just Mod Tools. I'm also probably going to be doing a little bit more of Rocket League in the future. I plan on doing about one stream per week as well so that's actually pretty nice for those of you who like my live streams so yeah i also have a plan to do a q a soon so if you want to jump ahead of the gun and go ahead and shoot me over some q a questions as well i just decided to do a q a for 27 subscribers even though at this point i believe i'm at like 29 but still yeah i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to comment like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video Bye.